Hey guys, Matt here, and in today's video, I wanted to showcase something really cool I have, and this is my uh, MTech MT424 series uh, folding tactical knife, aka the Joker's knife. And it is kind of similar to the Joker's knife, but unfortunately it's not an OTF, which means out the front, which you have that little button here that basically pushes it forward. It's not like that, unfortunately. But it is what it is. It's still pretty cool. And the closed um, length of it is uh, 4.75 inches. And the blade length is uh, 3.25 inches, which is pretty cool. And I also really like the, uh, the design of the blade here, as you can see. I like how they cut out that little bit of metal to, to give that nice uh, shape on it, which is pretty cool. And the uh, blade and the... Uh, the blade and handle material are made of a uh, 440 steel, which is pretty cool. I actually really like 440 steel over the 3CR13 stuff because it just, it's just, it's a little bit of a better steel. It's a little, I just like it more. And um, some of the other features on the knife includes a uh, um, glass breaker right here, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Then you have a nice little, uh, lanyard uh, clip right here as well as a uh, pocket clip right here which is pretty cool and basically how you open and close the knife you have this little uh, bit back here which the flipper sorry you basically just uh, flip it back and then you have the uh, st the stopper right there and it does work pretty nicely as you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to open and close it so overall this is a pretty cool knife and uh, let's see the sharpness on it. See how sharp it is. And oh wow. It is really sharp too as you can see. It is cutting right through the paper like it's nothing. So I am very surprised about it. So it's a really cool knife. And overall this is a really cool knife. And I did make, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video or not. But I did make this uh, video a while ago, and I just wanted to redo it and just touch base on stuff that I didn't touch base on on the original video. And overall, it's still one of my uh, favorite knives that I thought was would be pretty cool to revisit, so I'm glad I did it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification down below. And if you have any other suggestions on videos I should make, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to read them. And uh, if you want to help support the channel further than what you already are by watching my uh, videos, there'll be a link to my uh, Patreon down below. There you'll be able to find loads of awesome perks and just be able to help me out more than you what you already are by watching my uh, videos. And if you like this video, please check out some of my uh, other videos as well. You'll be able to find loads of awesome knife reviews, taste tests, and a bunch of other uh, miscellaneous stuff that I like to, like to review and stuff. So please check it out if you're interested. And uh, thank you again for watching, and uh, peace out.